Hi, this is Wendy with Chugach National Forest Avalanche Center. It's a beautiful Saturday, April 22nd. We're up here at Turning In Pass. This is Seattle Ridge in the distance, and we've had two weeks of sunny weather that has triggered a meltdown on southerly facing slopes. You can see the significant natural activity in the last two weeks on Seattle Ridge. Around a week ago, Right here was a skier triggered avalanche. This dark spot is the bed surface that has melted out. So it's very noticeable right now. This was triggered in a very thin spot in the slab and it was a wet slab. So we're up here, this is sunburst that we're on. We're about 3,500 feet on the southwest facing slope and we're looking at a similar trigger point on an adjacent slope to this avalanche. So here we are, we just poked in really quick on the ridge in a thin spot. And the snowpack here is about 18 inches thick. What we found is weak, wet facets right near the ground. So this is similar to the, the other avalanche. Um, we're a little early in the day, so only the top few inches of the pack has melted so far. We have about eight inches that is still relatively frozen. Later in the day, when that frozen snow melts and becomes loose and weak, this slope will be suspect to trigger an avalanche where it is steeper. And that is the core of what we're looking for now in the mountains and how to avoid avalanches is avoiding slopes that are wet, unset or wet and saturated and unsupportable to skis, a snow machine, boots, etc.